falling apart at the minute, the whole place. It's full of asbestos, of course. Uh, hopefully, uh, none that can, uh, you know, various kind of asbestos. But none of the asbestos is very good. You have various strategies to cope with failure as an artist. There's a lot of self-convincing that goes on. I'm a great artist, uh, I can't do it wrong. Uh, uh, I'm a rubbish artist, I can never do anything right. Oh, oh dear, what was that? I, I used to be in despair when, when something didn't work out and I had abandoned it. I had all this waste of time, you know. But there's nothing like, like a good night's sleep for finding that what you've done is absolute rubbish in the morning, or finding that, um, you know, you've done well after all um, for that day. I mean, I think the quest is, is very much part of it. I find that more and more now, a lot of work is done when I'm not in the studio, in my head, really. So things change, and uh, you have to be open to change in your work all the time. It's more monumental than I thought it would be. Sometimes I make a pretty mediocre model on purpose so that I don't have to follow it too much. Yeah, it's probably about uh, six, six, six foot two, six foot three, not, not very much bigger than that. It's quite difficult to grasp uh, sculpture. It requires um, faith in what you can't see. So, I keep looking, <laughs> empty-minded, without fear and without thought, just look. I think that's uh, a good lesson to any age. Tea? Tea? Do you want some tea? <laughs> 